Hello. It's Monday. Uh, again. When did that happen? Uh, I guess I can't really blame uh, myself for feeling a little bit out of time since I haven't been working. But uh, yeah, it's Monday. This is our one anchor in the week. We do the stream. Hello. How is everyone? Welcome in. Uh, we do have puppy cam, or we have a cat. There. Kinda. The best view. If I just uh, get up and I use the other camera. Puppy cam one. There we go. Brightly illuminated cat. That's what we like to see. So, um, today I have no plan other than maybe we could play some foray in the forest because it's been a while since I played it. Keep meaning to, to get further in it. It's difficult. Uh, da, 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 moving the camera but yeah it might be fun and uh, you know me I'm not particularly full of the brain juice uh, tired things like that we'll we'll just play a little game why not play a little fun game um, that's about all I had to say really uh, I do have my my game, the the Struth that I made for the DOS Game Jam. So if lots of people want to play that, we could also play that. Like, you know, put people from chat in as the names of the murder suspects. It's always fun. I could probably make it a redeem like Cran has. Um, and... Yeah, no brain. My ring light, which you can't see it's over there uh it's looking a little worse for wear honestly it's a very diy thing i made um built out of random bits of stuff i had lying around and duct tape and uh, i think with the heat with uh, temperatures warming up as they are the duct tape has kind of softened its grip on everything and it's listing dangerously over the side of my monitor uh, yeah, hang on, we can actually show you. We can show you the ring light if we switch to Poppy Cam to Inception. There it is. Okay, so it's more of a disc light from your perspective. Uh, but there is a ring. Uh, you can control it by going like. Okay, if I have my focus on my actual chat, please, OBS. Ring green or whatever hex code you want. There you go. Um, let's leave it green. And get back to the main event, the puppy. Yes, there she is, just lounging on the sofa. Almost looked like she'd vanished for the day as soon as I started stream, as she is want to do, but uh, managed to come back in time. So we're actually enjoying the company of a cat. She's got her ears turned towards us. She knows we're talking about her. We love you. People love you. Yes. Uh, okay, let's make this just slightly less green, shall we? Ring uh, RGB, so maybe zero four zero two one. Or cyan, but it's not bright. Uh, we need it a little brighter. Um, 
1043. That'll do. You can see me. The webcam can pick me up. Good enough. Uh, so what is Foray in the Forest, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked that, fictitious audience member. Um, Foray in the Forest is... If I can go and actually capture it. No, that's not it. Uh, window capture. Plus box. There we go. Void in the Forest is a mod for Commander Keen. Um, but not just any old mod where you've got... Uh, distracting thing on me. Not just any old mod where you've got like... I crashed. <laughs> this is fine. And Poppy's getting up. Poppy, don't go, please. Just because I'm talking like this doesn't mean they're mad at you or anything. Poppy, come, come. Poppy, don't go. Yeah. Ah. She's going to her hidey hole. We caught a little bit of her on camera. Okay, um, so before this crashed, I was saying, uh, not just any old Commander Keen mod, but it's a source mod by Nisaba and King Duke. Uh, and what that is, is they've reconstructed the source code for the Commander Keen 4 and 5, uh, maybe also 6 engines. And then that's let them sort of recompile a Commander Keen engine that's then, you know, you can customize it way more than the traditional mods could. Um, like previously, you would basically be reskinning the existing monsters so you could tell what something was, but this adds completely whole new things and new game mechanics. It's amazing. Where were we up to? There's a save game called Blah. I'm going to assume that's what we were up to. Now, do we have audio capture? Because that would be nice too. Wouldn't that be impressive? Being able to capture the audio of the game. Please. Actual game audio capture. Pulse audio. Monitor's off, but it's there. It exists. Because the sound for this is also uh, an absolute bop. DOSBox. Audio stream on Neko stream output, which should be the thing that you capture. I probably should have done this before stream, because... Maybe the fix is going to be I have to restart DOSBox and uh, not DOSBox, restart OBS. And that would suck. Oh, this is Foray in the Forest. Hey, Stardrop. Welcome in. Yes, this is Foray in the Forest. A. Uh, oh, geez, what did I just click on? Okay, it seems like every time I click on the window after. Um, tabbing out of it, it crashes. This is fine. This is not Nisaba's fault. I'm sure this is something weird I'm doing. Four in the forest. There you go. Um, help and game info. Again, there's amazing music here. There's a TARDIS in the game, right? Looked very suspicious back there. Device. Neko combined output. Now you can hear everything. Neko stream output. Now you can just hear the game. Okay, we fixed it. We fixed it. Can jam out to this. Uh, the story. Commander Keen in Goodbye Galaxy. Keen Episode Pi. Foray in the Forest. 
Billy Blaze has just come back home from a window shopping at his most favorite confectionery kiosk. He's still daydreaming about candies, cookies, cakes, the like. If it's sugar, it's a sure bet it will attract his attention, and an equally sure bet that he'll be told that he had best eat his veggies before he gets any dessert. But darn it! Billy doesn't care for seeds and greens. The smell of freshly fi fried dough, the flavor of sweet icing, the sticky feel left on his fingers as he clutches the precious donut he imagines himself eating. Hmm, now he's definitely hungry. But the minute he steps into his bedroom, still daydreaming about the delicious sweets he just saw, becomes clear that something is very wrong. Much to Billy's alarm, six of his very favorite plushies seem to have vanished, leaving nothing but empty space where they should be. It doesn't take him long to find a clue, a piece of paper on his bed with words in a very familiar language which he recognizes as the standard galactic alphabet. Reading the message, Billy discovers that the loss of his plushies is no mere coincidence. What evil mastermind could have done something so despicable? Who would be so cruel as to kidnap my intergalactic friends? It looks like it isn't time for Commander Keen to take a break just yet. Studying the letter intently, especially the drawings that appear to be of various planets and nebulae, Keen comes to the conclusion that he must pass through the Dream Nebula and make his way to a planet with strange rings, Nausticus Pi. One thing's for sure, this won't be any half-baked adventure that would make anyone's eyes glaze over. But first, he needs to prepare for another trip into the deepest space, and it looks like this one won't be over before dinner time. Hastily, taking the portable parent monitor receiver and making sure his parents are occupied, our intergalactic hero of justice dons his brother's football helmet, straps himself into the bean with bacon mega rugget, and blasts off to new and unsuspected adventures to rescue his friends. On board, Keen sets the ship's autopilot's coordinates for Gnosticus Pi, and locks in on a signal of his favorite intergalactic streaming service. Need to dust your planet? We beam and clean. Place an order tonight, and the intergalactic planetary cleaning ink will make your planet look brand new again for a special price tag of only. So I forget exactly where we are and what we we're doing, but that's fine. We'll just derp around. I don't know if people used the word plushy in the early 90s, did they? Hmm. Don't know. Stuffed toy, certainly. Stuffy, maybe? Where are we going? Let's go back to the Bean with Bacon Mega Rocket, and uh, we can actually stock up. Where's my pogo? Did I unmap it? Why is this one red? Points, lives, drops, ammo. And this one is green. Keens drops ammo. Lives drops ammo. This feels like a, an accident, maybe. Um, for this red one, I'm pressing shift. Right shift. But I guess... No, it's just right shift. Um, for the green one, it's enter, which is what I thought the drop down would be. I wonder if that's uh, something accidentally left in. Okay, we made it up this tree branch. Yeah, I feel like I used to have my keyboard set up so that this would be Alt and thus allow me to pogo. And I've lately changed it so that I've just got a meta key there. But that's going to fuck me up. Because I use Alt to pogo. Can I... Can I modify this somehow? Uh action buttons, pogo, 
It's whatever that key is. Uh, do you have shooting set up as space or control and alt? Space. Uh, I never really mastered two button firing. Uh, no, don't quit. Return to game. All right, this will do. Um, it's one key to the right of where I expect it to be, but that's fine. What's this place? Could I just pogo up there? Whoop, careful now. Ha! <laughs> Yay, the game rewards my shenanigans. Uh, but we're full on ammo anyway. Hey, Emmy, how are you doing? Shenanigans should always be rewarded, yes. So I guess we can go down here and like flip switches and things? What does that do? We need to open that. Sure. Oh, there's the thing. Killed the thing. Ah, that's the switch we wanted for upstairs, but we need a red gem for it, I guess. And that's just triggered that. Good, good. Got a shower, be back, no worries. Ooh, it's those plants from Keen 1, 2, and 3. I mean, I guess they're plants. Cool callback. Take that bush. Oh, the bush is still alive. Clams! Yes. Hey, Dr. Yasmin, welcome in. How are you doing? This is not an Ultima game. I'm not going to be doing Ultima 9 yet. Uh, but we will be doing it eventually. I did check online to see if uh, Nisaba had released... Ooh, do we want that open at the moment, though? Can we get up there? Um, if Nisaba had released 1.1 of this yet. Didn't look like it. Um, but that's cool. Let them take their time. Add extra polish. It's a very cool game, even with the 1.0 release. If a little hard sometimes. Hey, it's this game. I'm keen to see Neko play it. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Oops. Why did I do that? Hey Emmy, I don't know if you've seen this, and I don't know what your thoughts are on it, but I've pushed right shift, and I get this drop down. But if I push enter, I get the drop down I expect, like it's green and everything. It's got my score and keens and drops and ammo. But then there's this other one, which has lives instead of keens. It's weird, right? Mm -hmm. 
We found a checkpoint. Ah. That's a difficult jump. Oh, we need to get that yellow key somehow. I can't, no, I can't do that, okay. I didn't read the manual, I went in blind, I regret it, but I'm waiting for the next release now. There's so many wild features, there are. Um, I also haven't really read the manual. We went through the uh, intro text earlier. Weep. I'm very grateful that some enemies don't actually kill you permanently and it's just dazing you. That is very nice. Of course, I don't seem to be able to kill them uh, in return or permanently stun them. Yeah, some of the assets or enemies are from other mods too. Ah! I'm not good enough at the jump, so I'm just gonna do something else. Ah, okay, this is where we want the yellow key. Look at that, that's so cool. I'm not good at this game. I love it anyway. Okay, okay, here we go. Ah! Restart from checkpoint. Game is hard, it is. I mean, I guess that's like what they were going for. Lots of replayability. Not just like a a mod that does a couple of dungeons and then you're done. I made it! I made it! I got it! I got the gem. Ordinarily I would save. Maybe we'd, we should anyway. I mean, saving mid-level costs a life, but but let's do it. You are the best. Ah, thank you. First try. Yeah. First try, every try. I should change the code for my keyboard to let me... Aren't we glad we saved? Um, to let me change what that meta key does. Because I actually find I need it as an alt key for this game. <laughs> Come on, you big dumb... It's like a big lick. Except instead of spitting fire, it spits tongue. Whoop. Okay, okay, this is... These two are teaming up on me. And I don't appreciate it. I got a sort of dinner for me and El Gremalin be lurking. Enjoy your meal, Emmy and Dax. We have had our dinners for today. I had a sandwich. And Poppy had sardine and salmon. Yes. Eat shit. Okay. Eat it. Ha. Ha ha. Mm. 
Now there's just this water jumping puzzle. Easy. I hit my head. Oh, wow. Uh, don't restart from checkpoint. We want the save where we have the gem. If we stay here and lure that guy over that way and then, ha huh? No, no, that, that's not a good strategy. Make note. Yeah. Okay. Just got to be careful as we go down. Not land in the trap of these two enemies and take that. This is fine. This is fine. So maybe this week, if I have the brain power slash motivation slash planetary alignment, uh, the plan is I will try and get Ultima 9 working on my computer. And then assuming that goes well, uh, we can play Ultima 9 next week. But if not, we've got plenty of backup options. Oh my goodness, the log... The log starts to sink if you're standing on it too long. Mean. I want my checkpoint mushroom to be like both before and after I get the key. Okay, so don't bonk your head on that little corner up there. And what is that? And what is that? Some magic teleporting gecko? That's amazing. But I gotta wait for it to go away. Whee! Okay, whatever I pushed was not the key that I wanted. Aha! Checkpoint! Funny place for a checkpoint, but I will take it. I can't shoot those things? No. They look very threatening. But they're just sort of sitting there. Waiting to slurp my brains. Can I get up to that platform? Not with not with the function key, James. Yay for checkpoints. This is Pogo. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Ah, okay, if I jump into it, then it will happily eat my brains. Ah, that's why they put that there, yes, to get me. Three lives left, it's fine. It's two lives, two lives left, it's fine. Two is plenty. Hey Applejacks, welcome on in. How are you doing? Good to see you. We are playing some Commander Keen mod. Some rather epic mod, I must say. Okay, so I wanna... Yeah! No, there's no way. No one could possibly jump up there. It's not possible. We 
just going to ride this log, not get our brains eaten. The red gem is there? Been working on this guy. Uh, he's not finished, but he's good enough for it being 5.30 a.m. Lol. Wow. Uh, what is that? Save game. Nice. Um, if it's 5.30 a.m. Applejacks, I appreciate you being here, as always, but maybe you should get some sleep? Do you think I should go for the red gem? It didn't really seem to do anything, like unlock anything critical. But there we go, we've got the red gem now. Ah, more of the disappearing pole puzzle thing. It's a lantern from Amnesia! Ah, nice. I don't know what I was doing there. Well, we've still got one life. Oh, now we want to get the red gem again, do we? My drops counted as you reset, so I'm not going to get an extra life. Getting ready for bed, but figured I'd come hang out while I do so. Oh, thank you for stopping by. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I missed. Okay, zero lives left. This is fine. Alright, what's the deal with these things? Climb on them, and then you die. That's the deal. Game over. <laughs> I haven't seen this before. Just kidding. You don't have to pay any money to continue. What do you think this is, a mobile game? We'll just reset your score. What's the deal with these things? You see them, you climb over them, and then you die. <laughs> Seinfeld, yeah. Um, well, we may as well reload the save game we made, right? Because that has a stack of lives on it. And by a stack, I apparently mean seven. So we'll see how long I can go at this while not really braining. And we can call it a stream. Think of it just as like a more extreme just chatting hangout. Don't expect any Major League Gaming. Thank 
Sheila. They got me good with that one. MLT is beneath my standard. Well, uh, mostly loser gaming. Yeah. I also considered one of those things I said I was going to do ages ago and did sporadically was um, Serpent Isle speedrunning because I was trying to map out a new route that would possibly give a, a bit of a speed advantage and then I stopped doing that. I got distracted by Pagan as one does. So, I don't know. Um, that's something we could try and derp around on stream with, maybe? Okay, any time now, Mr. Chameleon. You wanna go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Checkpoint. Hey, son, welcome in. Basically, even if we're not doing Ultima 9, there's a bunch of... Argh! There's a bunch of other stuff we can be doing. Mm -hmm. That should still prove entertaining. I cry. I cry. Like, it's a testament to the mod, though, that I'm not blaming the game's, uh, you know, pixel handling, uh, the collision not being... Oh, fuck. Uh, I think I pressed, like, super space Z there. Uh, either way, it killed DOSBox. At least I think it killed DOSBox. Yeah. This is fine. GG. <laughs> yeah. I've been finding a lot of ways to crash this thing. I haven't remapped my keys, just walked into spikes there. Mm -hmm. uh, keyboard action pogo is now super. Uh, return to game. There we go. We will definitely get to Ultima 9 at some point. We just gotta do it properly. Gah! We've gotta have a palate cleanse. We've gotta momentarily forget what the ending of Ultima 8 was. Get into the game with fresh eyes. Hi. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm not really like blaming the game at all for any of these missed jumps or uh, 
instant deaths. The game itself is rock solid. I feel like if I've landed on something, I've landed on it, and if I've missed it, uh, it is legitimately me just missing it. The level design is kind of a troll. Lots of places to bump your head, but that's okay, that's just the game. It's so annoying to me that they won't do a new King game, won't they? I'm not up to speed with all the news or anything. Frankly, I don't care. Uh, I don't think id Software could ever come up with anything to match the quality of the community mods at this point. Okay, okay, so that one above the lollipop is static. Bumped my head. Uh, restart from checkpoint. It is a little exhausting. Like, you do get to a point where you've died so many times on the same bit. You're just getting more fatigued and more prone to dying. The pogo sticks and the weird enemies and all. Uh, 1904 was the last real King game besides a weird little Game Boy spin-off. Yeah, we, we don't talk about the Game Boy version. Uh, I just think it'd be cool to see a new King game with modern stylings. What do you suppose that would be? Some sort of photorealistic, Unreal Engine based Fortnite Battle Royale um, cover based shooting. Well, they don't they don't really do cover based shooting as much these days. Neko. Oh, there's a little dung beetle. You know, I've not seen the high score screen before. Oh, he's having a nap. He's dreaming of Europe. If they did it with real stylized 3D art like the modern Mario games or something, keep the gameplay still a simple platformer? Yeah, I mean, Nintendo have managed to pull off transitioning Mario to 3D okay. But it's Nintendo. They. They would have put a lot of effort into that to get it feeling just right, as well as looking right. Because there's the platform mechanics in 3D that you've got to consider as well. I'm sure there's all sorts of weird edge cases and hacks in the 3D Mario games to make it play like a 2D platformer. <clears throat> yeah, I think it'd be possible, but it would take a lot of work to get a keen with like a, a modern Mario platformer kind of thing going. Load mid-level. I'm getting that bit nailed down though. Oh no, wait, wait, look for the platform. God damn it. Hey Gareth, welcome in. Uh, a game like this would be very niche these days. Uh, they take patience we lost in the early 2000s. That's true. 
um, like the modern Mario games don't play at all like the old school ones, where that was the only game you had on your Nintendo console, and uh, it's gonna be hard as nails so that it's got that replayability, it's, it's got that longevity. Um, but nowadays, kids with their internets and their mobile games, they can just download something else if they're not immediately entertained. And games have to account for that. Hey, don't just reappear on the same platform, that's rude. Checkpoint. I like how colourful it is. It is very colourful, and this is just the EGA 16 colours. They, uh, they do tweak the palette on different levels, though, to make it slightly more interesting. Rephrase. All Mario games are amazing. Uh, if considered in the context in which they were released. Exactly. Yeah. The music is perfect. Like, it doesn't get on your nerves even if you're having to listen to it a lot because you keep derping up and dying, James Neko. is still hiding in her secret cupboard. <laughs> Villain laugh. Uh, I think more traumatized Applejack, but yeah. Uh, this could be my villain arc. This, this could be the thing. I'll become a real-life Mortimer McMire. <sighs> Alright. Okay. We've just got to very carefully make it to that pole over there. Huh. I feel a mid-level save coming on. So there's another of those geckos down here. Mean. Whew, then they got our brains eaten there. Oh no, more tubes to hold on to. What do they want us to do this time? Okay, that was just for candy. Fair enough. Now what? There's a log. I thought it was a chameleon. Oh, yes. Um, lizard of some description. Neko's brain is not working right now. Please check later. Come on. Game, you are being extremely mean right now. It's okay, my brain never works. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've got streamer brain, but I've also got, like, fatigue brain and all sorts of other things. Okay, that was just for the extra life, I think. In the drink. Uh, no, let's load our mid-level save, please. 
Okay, we know up there is just extra points. And down there is points and a life. I just want to proceed. I want to exit a level. <laughs> Not get my brains eaten, please. Checkpoint! Please give me your yummy checkpoint juice. Any secrets? Secrets here, yes? Not that I can see. Alright, we've got other doors that are locked, I guess. Quite a few. And a big old lever to pull something. Okay, maybe this. Can we drop the slug? No. Oh! You can look at the sign, and Billy says, Aha! This seems to be the way to go. Apparently our ex-employer is forcing 50% attendance in the office now. How gross. It's, um... It's like... Not 50% of the workforce in the office as well. It's 100% it's of the workforce in the office 50% of the time. But not even, like, split across days. It's like, I don't know what days they've got. Like, Monday and Tuesday, for example, uh, in the office. Which is nuts, because they don't have actually enough space. <laughs> like, th things were not thought through. Okay, we can go through this door now. I feel like we were... No, we're not in this area before, because we haven't met this guy. Pro company move, yeah. And they reopened level one, uh, the dungeon, and everyone has to use Telstra Wi-Fi calling, because there's no mobile phone reception. Come on, let me jump over, please. There we go. That'll do. Was this door open before? Were we even here before? I don't know if we were. What's up here? Slug. Hey, we can top up our bullets. Or neural stunner ammo. That's a nice little way to, whoa! Benoit. That's a nice little way to show where the secret is, I was going to say. And then died. It was up here, so maybe I can go up the other way? No. Here, get the ammo. Get the secret. Get hit by this weird bush on legs again. What's through this door? I think this is where we were to start with. Maybe not, because I don't rem remember that little secret there. No, this was where we started, because they had this lift, and... 
I thought there was something that needed the red key up there. Anyway, we can't just go that way, can we? Did we even need to do all of this? Ow. Well, it looks like I could maybe land on those lily pads, but I don't know. Uh... Let's just derp around. Derp around, have a stream, hang out with peeps. Oh, for fuck's sake. They, they really want me to pogo and hit my head on that clam. balcony window open, so you may hear the police sirens coming after me in the distance. Ah, yeah. It's already getting distinctly summery, so uh, just going to have to put up with the noise in favor of the cool air. Pretty sure that the uh, signpost arrows that they've got. I'm glad they put signs everywhere. I'm pretty sure they actually update, like, dynamically as you go through the level. If summer is anything like this winter, it might be a hot one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not thrilled by all of the uh, screaming that people in the Northern Hemisphere were doing about how hot it was uh, for them for their summer. And how it's probably going to be similar for us. Go up here now? Yes, we can go up here. Now my new house has built in AC, nice. Maybe we can fly north for the summer. Far, far north, yeah. Okay, we did need to get in here because this button does something. What does it do? Who knows? Maybe the signposts will tell us. There was still that area that we couldn't get to. I live in Florida. It's always hot, wet blanket here. Ooh, yeah. The humidity is what makes it worse. I don't mind heat, but I need to be able to sweat to dump my own heat. Yeah, up there. We need to get there somehow. This door is still locked. That platform's still locked. There's a blue key involved as well? Humidity makes the cold worse too. Yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> oh, this fucking bush. I swear, there is one guy who goes up and down our street late at night, 
and he's always blasting Hadaway What Is Love from his car speakers. It's hard to even be mad. Like, yeah, pretty good tune there, guy. Man of culture, yeah. Like, I can get insanely enraged at some of the people who go up and down my street. Uh, typically with the mufflers removed for maximum bang bang kapow noises. Um, but yeah, guy has some taste. I could never be mad at someone blasting a song like that, yeah. We do love Maximum Bang Bang Kapow, sure. Yeah, we went all over here before. I don't think there's anything else. This area. Maybe we can risk it and just try and go across the water? You're gonna try and get me to fall into that clam, aren't you? Well. Tough shit. I'm all, I'm wise to your tactics, game. Oh right, that's where we fell. Okay, but we can get back out. That's good. Hmm, pink. Ah, it's built a bridge over here. Yikes! Imagine if we just tried to jump on the lily pads. Frickin' pink tentacle. And there's a checkpoint! Blessed checkpoint! What's the deal with this building? Oh, I don't want us to get over it. Fine. I don't like that jump, and it looks like we would be doing another bridge building here. So let's look around for a bridge switch. Ah, this is that one we were at earlier. Okay, we've unlocked that. Cool. And it looks like it's a way back up here. Yeah. Can we flick this? Ah. Don't know why we would. Explored. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Blue key. Okay, where are we going to get one of those? Right there. get that one little piece of candy. It is irking me. Of course, I could just climb up. Why didn't I just do that? No secrets? Aha! Secret? Yes. Okay. Uh, so where do we put this key in? It was down here? 
let's open that big stone thing. Then we can flick this switch. Ah, go into this watchtower thingy. Can I refill my stuff? Fill me above seven. All right, let's see what's down here. Exit. We did a level. We did a level. You saw it here first, folks. We completed one level, one of keen foray in the forest. Save. And we've got access to a whole extra area now. Hey, Moody Mystery. Welcome in. How is everyone doing? You know, we could do some shout outs. You know, I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually finish a level in this game. <laughs> you could follow um, X-Rack Project. Is that got right? Uh, yes, she's been doing speedruns of this. Um, so very skilled. And of course we've got Moody here. We've got Applejacks. We've got Dr. Yasman, all many, many fine people that you should all go check out now. So what's on this side? Ooh, there's that damn snaky thing. A forest? I'm fine, people too, but you can't check me out. No. Stardrop is a person of mystery. So we've got a bunch of ruins and a big hole. Should we check out a big hole? Very mysterious, yes. Habitico Piscium something. Oh, nice. It's like the underwater level in Keen 4, but uh, there's no water. Oh, and I can't stun those guys. Oh, and they hurt. Pretty, though. Like, you can tell they've changed the EGA palette slightly. The magenta is darker. Uh, and we've got a bunch of different shades of red there. So one of them would be brown, one of them's red, and the other is like an orangey color? I guess the same orange that we've got the, the walls here. I head to bed on the high note of you winning. Thanks so much and have a good stream. Thank you for being here, Applejacks. Please get some good rest. Hang on, there was a big hole in the previous game. Yeah. I haven't streamed in a while, been under the weather. Ah, uh, it happens. Okay, these are also deadly. Good to know. We are learning things. We are testing. The music is oddly intense for this area. I 
kind of want to know what's up here. Is there anything? Ah, there is. I think we're probably not going to get any ammo from this. Nope. There's a cool enemy design, though. It's nice. This is a lot more free form. Like, the other level was really heavily locked down. Ah, what was I thinking? You can't shoot sky pests. Um, yeah, the other one was, like, heavily locked down and gated. And then this one is much more freeform. Which I guess you'd expect, given it's not, like, a security checkpoint. It's a natural formation. That's fine. That is fine. Let's look at that big hole again. Down there. Coral Dorable. Mmm. Well done, Billy. So far, no checkpoints either. So maybe this is quite a big level. Yep. If I let Billy get bored and lie down for a nap here, is it going to be bad? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Is he just gonna... What you gonna do, Billy? Look at that water texture, though. It's really good, and it's using just two colors. I don't think he's doing it. He's not lying down. It's one of the Nocticus Ancients. Gorfeg, you shog me for rescuing me. I'll return to the Oracle Chamber immediately. Blub. <laughs> Wrong game, dude. 
Wise plan of action, your ancientness. Swim, swim hungry, swim, swim hungry. Fun little Easter egg. Looked like there was something up there, but I'm not going for it. Sky pests. Can I duck? Can I duck and it will go past? Yes, just barely. Blue key. Well, that's interesting. I bet that blue key makes this solid. Oh, I can't do a big pogo jump. Hang on. I can't do a big pogo jump out of the water. Or at least I kind of pulled one off earlier, and I don't know how I did it. And the water slows you down, too. Yeah, they don't want you going up there unless you've got the blue key. Okay. Checkpoint! And a yellow key is involved? Don't know where the yellow key is. Ow. Great, now we've got a checkpoint up here that I'm just killing myself on repeatedly. Um, okay, blue key for that, and then yellow key. Unless I can somehow reproduce the glitch that allowed me to pogo that one time. I'll tell you what I could do, I could map. I could... How do I do this? Function? Super. There we go, now I'm spamming Pogo as much as I can. Doesn't seem to be helping though. Oh. And Discord wants to update. Go away, Discord. No! This is fine. Blame my abuse of programmable keyboard. Uh, load game. We weren't actually mid-level saving there, were we? We were still outside of the thing. And I think we have to rebind the keys again. Because we keep crashing and not actually exiting the game properly. I'll keep at this level, because, uh, you know, maybe I do this game intermittently whenever we feel like it, and we just kind of have a bash at one or two levels. Maybe the keys were up here somewhere? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, great, one of those. They still damage you if you touch them with your toes. Okay. Okay, yeah, mm hmm. So you can make them shrink down, but not actually kill them. Good to know, good to know. Can we get a refill please, game? On, I was pogoing. That's a mechanic I didn't expect. You can shoot them, they won't die, but you can shoot them off the ledge. To immediately fall on top of you. Hello, little mollusk. Where are you? Come down to say hello to Neko, please. Yeep. Cool game mechanics. In four hours, I'm killing man, and I feel pretty bad about it. Oh. I mean, I guess you gotta, though, right? At least you feel bad about it. I ordered 12 bags of cat litter to be delivered, and I live on the fourth floor. It's for a worthy cause, son. They should understand. So we can just drop those things. used for a puzzle or something. Okay, now you are not necessarily a threat. Like, I can climb up there. But then we can't see anything else of interest. A pity. Run away from the sky past! Ah, yes. I have made more work for myself by dropping those things. Uh, what if the delivery person just puts them all in the lobby? Let's all go to the lobby. They weren't paid to have it delivered to my flat. Well, I mean, yeah, you, you're paying for not having to lug 12 bags of kitty litter up four flights of stairs. You kind of want to get your money's worth for that. We know there's no blue gem up that way. We know there's instant death at the bottom of every single one of these pits. You're lucky they just don't leave it at the post office here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we missed you. Thankfully, some time ago, my local postie changed, or like the contractors they're using, and this guy actually delivers. Like, this guy actually rings the buzzer. 
And, uh, you know, I go downstairs to meet him because I'm not, like, wanting him to come all the way up to my place. But I haven't had a Sorry We Missed You card in some time now, Touchwood. Here they don't, they say... Here they don't, they just leave it in front of the house. Um, yeah, like, some of them... Some of the packages are, like, labelled um, signature required. So they're like, oh, we have to get your signature for it. And I don't have any control over that, it's just the person who's sending it. I had oaths sworn delivered by post. Uh, they put it in the lobby. I'm sure that's fine. Big ass sword just hanging out. Blocking the shock me for blocking me. I went to the other chamber immediately. Blub. Swim, swim, hungry. Okay. Possibly there is something up there. Shall we investigate? Oh, but we can't pogo in the water. Hmm. And we could pogo off that, but uh, no. Is there a way up here? Yes. Okay, there's stuff. Whoop. I think I can reach that ledge. Oh wait, no. Can just barely. Now how do we get up here? That's a very tricky jump. I sprained a rib getting it up the stairs. Alright, let's keep looking down that area. There seemed to be maybe something down there worth getting. Or at least that was the vibe I was getting, because, uh, you know, path of greatest resistance. game is telling me to be difficult, uh, to be difficult to get up there. I'm speaking gargish now. Come on, that's so difficult! Discord. That's a board game. I feel like all these levels are mean. You're not wrong. At least you can restart very quickly. I am running out of patience. Yeah, uh, running out of skill, too. Let's see if we can get up that little secret area we were getting to. Just that weird jump that we got to do. Mm -hmm. 
Achy. It's like you just gotta nudge him slightly forwards a little bit, but not too much. <sighs> Music rocks, though. You can't get mad at this game. It's too pretty. gonna are there pixels I can touch there that would be safe no no there are not Neko <sighs> okay um Who's up for having a look at my silly little DOS game from the Game Jam? And then I'll wrap up stream and have a rest. That sounds good, right? Because I've never actually shown off the game yet. Like, uh, what am I doing? I have a captive audience here. I feel like I should keep... Yeah, let's keep Keen running in the background. <laughs> Just for the jams. Poppy seems shy. Yes, Poppy is uh, in her secret cupboard at the moment. So, uh... Oh, come on! I was closing something completely unrelated to DOSBox there. Poppy popped out for a bit, yeah. Uh, but if I go here, uh, truth. Bump up the cycles. When I was developing it, I was mostly running it fairly slowly because I wanted to see if anything that I was going to do was going to be like. Um, Uh, resource incentive for like an actual retro computer. Window capture. B. Uh, do I use macros to control my PC too, James? I don't have a whole lot set up. Um. Yeah, not like the way you've got your auto hotkey thing going. Um, I do have a few scripts that are like open Firefox or focus Firefox if Firefox is already running. Open terminal or focus terminal if terminal is already running. Um, just closing the wrong thing is a very familiar experience, right? Uh, wrong window. Can I just, yeah. So this is truth. I have a closed active app macro and sometimes it's always the wrong app. Is uh is like Alt F4 not available? Nice theme music. Thank you, Stardrop. I coded that in myself with like I had to look up the key tabs because I'm not a musician. So I looked up piano key tabs and I had another image of like Wikipedia, this is what the piano keyboard is. And then I was coding it into the, the quick basic thing as like a series of notes in a little ASCII string. It's crazy. How to play the game. You are a famous detective assigned to investigate a murder at a house party attended by a number of the victim's friends and associates. 
One of them must be the murderer, but who? You'll need to find both the killer and determine what weapon they used. As the player, you will need to explore the mansion, find a way to inspect objects closely for clues, talk to suspects and verify their alibis. Finally, gather the suspects and accuse the killer, bringing the murder weapon as evidence. Am I a Jonathan Creek fan? Yes, I am. Although, um, I'm not just picking Dance Macabre for that reason. Um, I also like Dance Macabre from Alone in the Dark. Um, so that, that's what kind of really inspired me. But, uh, yes. Uh, that's precisely what it does, actually, but I have a dedicated macro key, so it's simpler for me to just run all of my shortcuts off those. Right. Makes sense. So, yeah, Struth. Um, if you are not familiar with Galara Dragon... Uh, yes, Moody Mystery, hello. Uh, Galara, let's give her a shout-out. Can I, can I not tab, please? OBS. Tab. Oh, I've got Alt hit held down somehow. Have I? Got a, some focus key held down. At Galara. There. So Galara Dragon, aka Kran. I didn't know the dance with Kaba was in Alone in the Dark. It is. It's really cool. It kicks ass. Um, there's a bunch of records that you can find in the game, and you can play them on a gramophone. Um, but Dance Macabre is the one you need to solve a particular puzzle. And uh, anyway, Cran, so she sometimes plays Sleuth, an old game from 1983. And uh, I realized the other day I followed one of her friends on Twitch. Oh, okay. Um, blah. I was randomly joking one day. Oh, board game heaven, yeah, yeah. Um, I was randomly joking one day, I think with Emmy, like, game ideas. Hey, Cran has this game called Sleuth. What if Sleuth, but Australian, so it's Struth. And uh, that's how this came about, basically. You can change your palette and the options as the default. There's colorblind mode, which I'm very proud of. There's also colorblind friendly modes uh, for the three different colorblind types that are prevalent. Uh, if you're a fan of CGA, we've got you covered. If you like your old monochrome green or orange monitors, we've got you covered. And finally, we've got detective Barbie mode. Uh, mouse look is off, no, false, disabled, um, and uh, just in case someone is playing who doesn't understand Australian idioms, you can you can filter those. But why would you want to? Fucking cunt. So let's play. Um, I am Detective Mittens, and. You can pick some random names to start with, but it's much more fun if you put in names from chat. So, assuming you're all consenting, what does truth actually mean? Well, I've learned it's... Is cunt an idiom? Sure, why not? Um, I've learned it's actually like a, a corruption of a shortening of God's truth. So, it used to be God's truth, like, oh yeah, that's really right on, and then it was spelt like S apostrophe T-R-U-T-H, but I guess over the years it's just become its own word, like struth. Yeah, yeah, from the context it's just like a soft exclamation, like, oh, bloody hell. Um, anyway. If you don't want to be one of the suspects, and potentially the murder victim or murderer, uh, please raise your hand now so that I don't put you in here. But assuming you all consent, uh, we have... M, X, Y, Z, Y... Uh, we have star drop... This little down... Is that how you spell it? Yeah, that's how you spell it. Um, yes, we've got 
Wilson Gnezeb. Uh, wait, that's not how you. You've got a G and uh, This music is way too cheery for a, a murder mystery. Uh, Dr. Yasman. Applejacks, yep. Um, I've got to run this on my stream sometime. Uh, Moody Mystery, yep, thank you. Mystery. Uh, Gareth. Gareth Hughes. Hughes son. Boop. Um, who else was in chat? People, people are in chat. Cool, nice people who are definitely not murderers. Uh, we can put myself, I guess, or, um... Now, now, don't go calling out lurkers, just people who've been in chat. There we go. So, you enter a corridor. Wooden floorboards creak under your feet. A pair of thongs are in the corner. A police constable stands by the door. So, you control, you know, with arrow keys. Uh, you've got your actions down there in the bottom right. And we can talk to constable. Ah, hello, Detective Mittens, is it? Hi, I'm the constable assigned to help you. A bit of a mess, all this. Let me know if you need any help. I'll be watching the door here. If you manage to solve the murder, come to me and I'll gladly gather, a, gather everyone up. This reminds me of the castle. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just assume my murderer status? Well, we'll find out soon who is the murderee. What happened? Well, all we know is Gareth Hughes... Rip. ...was having a few mates over for a party. The guests, they were hanging out here in the house, then a few hours ago, someone finds Gareth Hughes dead as a doornail. That's when they called the police, and the superintendent called you to come investigate the situation. Castle was an old DOS game. Uh, looks like this. Except no colours. Ah! Yeah, you can do a lot with the um, IBM code page 437 character set that you get uh, in this DOS text mode. It's nice. A murdery is where you get to get murdered in France, right? Sure. Oui. Uh, who is the victim? Name's Gareth Hughes. Body's been left as is. I uh, don't know what was used to do the deed, though. You'll need to figure it out if you want to be sure of a conviction. Who are the suspects? All the guests are accounted for. I'll keep anyone from leaving. Let you do your job of interviewing each suspect. Establish alibis and whatever else you need to do. We, oui, I mean... And we can hit G to gather everyone up if we're ready to accuse them, but uh, we're not ready for that yet, so... Bye. We wander around and we look at things. You leave the corridor. You step into what must be the master bedroom. A large four-poster bed is against the wall, and in front of it is a thick rug. There is a lamp here. Inside is a scented candle. Sungni is here. Moody Mystery is here. So we can... Talk to people and establish alibis. Son, what were you up to? Hello, you're that detective, aren't you? Detective Mittens? They told you us you were coming. What was your alibi? Look, I don't have anything against you. Oh, I found a typo. Yay. Bug fix. And we light the scented candle. We cannot, unfortunately. Uh, but maybe it's none of your business, mate. Alibi. Can't help you much, Copper. I don't know anything about it. Look, Copper, it wasn't me and it wasn't Robot Neko, okay? We were both in the guest bedroom at the time. Just don't fucking ask anything else, all right? All right, son. You were with Robot Neko in the guest bedroom. How about Moody? Hello, you're the detective, are you? Detective Mittens? They told us you were coming. I didn't kill Gareth Hughes. Don't know what done it. We were in the spa room, enjoying the hot tub. Me and Star Drop Thistledown, I mean. All righty. So Moody and Star Drop, and we can uh, pick up items. We can get the lamp. We can get the candle. We can open up an inventory and have a look at them. Uh, 
You examine the lamp, a classic banker's lamp with a green shade. It is quite heavy. You examine the candle. The candle is attached to a small brass holder. Uh, that's the most uh, polite I've ever been to a cop. Yeah. Honestly, I wanted to add a lot more variety to the dialogue when you're asking people's alibis. But all this was kind of rushed for the DOS game jam. Um, and yeah, I ended up just going like bare minimum variety of uh, alibi things. So there's some items in the game that are just never the murder weapon, like the candle here. And there's some items, like the lamp, which could be the murder weapon, but we don't know. And we need a magnifying glass to be able to look at them closely and find out. You leave the corridor. You enter a dining room. The decor is quite fancy. A large mahogany dining table is in the center of the room. Inside is a brass lantern. Dr. Yasmin is here. The murder victim is here. Ooh. So, I mean, you can examine Gareth. They're definitely dead. Not much there. Uh, we can talk to Doctor. Oh, fuck off. Not the fucking cops. Leave us alone, will ya? Who gives a shit what any of you are up to? You only want to know, you noisy asshole? Yes. I didn't like Gareth, but there's no reason to kill him. Applejacks and I were in the kitchen having a drink. All right, Applejacks and Dr. Yasmin. Uh, we can also pick up the lantern if we want. And look into the spa. Uh, candles provide soft lighting in the spa and soft warm towels are piled up everywhere. A hot tub is here. No one in there, all right. This looks to be the kitchen. Uh, we kind of skipped over that. Look again. The kitchen has marble countertops with cupboards both b above and below. Pots and pans hang above a stove top. A refrigerator makes a low hum. A sink for washing dishes is built into the counter. A bottle of wine rests on the counter. Applejacks is here. Robot Neko is here. Okay, now we can start confirming people's alibis. Ah, oh, fuck off, not the fuck off. Leave us alone, will you? See, there's not much variety. I wanted to add more. Can't help you much, Copper. I don't know anything about it. Yasmin and I were in the kitchen having a drink. So Applejacks and Yasmin are probably off the hook here. Robot Neko. Didn't kill. Don't know who done it. But I was in the gaming room the whole time, mostly playing chess with M. Zizzy. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, someone else was using Robot Neko as their alibi. I forget who. Because no brain. But now we need to find Mzizzy to confirm or deny this alibi. Ah, son, that's right. Okay. Uh, we can also get a wine bottle. I made it so you can also have items randomly inside certain containers. So if we examine the refrigerator... You examine the refrigerator. The fridge is full of beer. Uh, you look inside the refrigerator. Inside is a fresh fish. So now I could pick up that fish if I wanted to. Uh, let's look inside the gaming room. Oh yes. Uh, various board games set up on them. A chess board is built into a small table. A pool table stands in the center of the room. There's a magnifying glass here. Excellent. There's a paperweight here. There's a golf club here. Uh, Stardrop Thistledown is here. An orange cat is wandering around. I feel like I'm getting preemptively done in for my killing my delivery guy with cat litter. I don't have cat litter as a possible murder weapon, son, but that's a great idea. We can totally add it in. And in fact, if you want to get this game and, and play around with it yourself, pretty much all of the data files are plain text, either comma separated value with my terrible CSV parser, or like just straight up plain text, one line per thing. So it's easily moddable. Um, let's talk to the cat. Meow. 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 Would you like a pat? Meow. Would you like scratches? Mm, What's your alibi? Where were you on the night of the murder? Okay. Uh, we can get the magnifying glass. And you don't have to pick up an item to examine it. You can just examine stuff straight up. So you could examine a pool table. 
Um, <laughs> you examine the pool table. A pool table. The felt looks slightly scuffed. You look inside the pool table. You have found the amulet of Yendor. Cool. We'll get that. Uh, we can examine the paperweight. You examine the paperweight. This paperweight is mostly spherical and made of glass. An interesting leaf-like pattern is visible within. Um, we can examine the cat. You examine the cat. The cat is orange with a few white splotches. It greets you with a slow blink. Uh, what about the golf club? Could be a murder weapon. Nope, it's a four iron and quite hefty. The fact that we examine an item with the magnifying glass in our inventory. Oh, hello. Hi, welcome. We have a cat. I need to get my mouse out of this window. There we go, poppy cat. Uh, that's the gizmo from NetHack, right? Yeah, that's the thing you've got to find. Um, could you chuck it in your Discord? I'd love to have a gander. Um, we can just go Bang's Truth and uh, get the info there. What was it? DOS? Jam? Info. Um, so, looking for murder weapons. If you have the magnifying glass in your inventory here, anything you examine, uh, if it is the murder weapon, it will say so. Uh, it's a large magnifying glass, perfect to closely examine objects with. You can use this to find a murder weapon. So, Amulet of Lendor, it is a mithril amulet of great power. Wine bottle, the bottle is full, heavy, and doesn't look particularly expensive. Gotta go early, James. Uh, Alicia calls me. Good stream, love these and chill palette refreshers. Thank you for stopping by. Um, it seems like you have an alibi, so I will allow you to leave, but you're not allowed to leave the country, okay? Take care. You examine the lantern. It's a miner's lantern made of brass with a means of shuttering the light. I'll make sure I don't. And the lamp. Aha! The lamp that we picked up earlier, now that we look at it again, there are traces of blood on it. This must be the murder weapon. Cool. So we know what was used to do the deed. Uh, can we talk to Stardrop? Oh, fuck off. Not the fucking cops. Leave us alone, will you? Didn't kill Gareth. Um, we were in a hot tub. Moody mystery. So Stardrop and Moody... Uh in the spa I'm just gonna like I could be taking notes I actually wanted to set it up so that you can use the notebook in game to write your own notes um, but obviously that feature was cut due to time times constraints um, but you can like there's no time limit on this version like on the original sleuth after a while, the murderer gets suspicious of you and tries to bump you off. That's something I was thinking of implementing as well, but I never got round to it. So there's no time limit on this. You can take your sweet time. Um, Moody. Spa. Star drop into Solo. Okay, so you're both in the clear. Uh, Mirage Medicine Cabinet is attached to the wall. A classic clawfoot bathroom is against the far wall. The towel is neatly folded in the corner. M. Zizzy is here. Hello, M. Zizzy. Ah, oh, fuck off. Not the fucking cops. Leave us alone, will ya? Hmm. Can't help you much, copper. Don't know anything about it. I was in the gaming room the whole time, mostly playing chess with Robot Neko. That is also what Robot Neko said. Which suggests that the murderer is none other than Moody Mystery. And have a little wander around. Um, 
other possible murder weapons. Play statuette. Uh, but yeah, we can just go and confirm. Moody, what did you say you were doing again? We went through this already. We were in the spa room, enjoying the hot tub. Me and Star drop thistle down. I mean, wait, hang on. No, was Moody in the clear? Moody was in the hot tub with me. So who? Son? Yeah, what now? You solved the case. Good for you. Just get on with it then and leave us in peace. Told you already. Look, Copper, it wasn't me and it wasn't Robot Necker. We were both in the guest bedroom. Don't fucking ask anything else, right? But, son, son, I know you love to murder delivery drivers, but I now suspect that you also murdered poor Gareth Hughes in this big party that he was having here at his big mansion. So when you're ready, you go talk to the constable. I like how in the games... People only ever hang out in pairs, and people only ever act alone, exactly. It would be really difficult if people could team up and then share an alibi. Um, or uh, it would be really difficult if, like, there was a big group gathering of everybody and just one other person who is on their own. Um, one thing that got suggested, and I do kind of want to add at some point, maybe in a version 2, was like what was the motive for the killing um like can you find evidence of blackmail or a big inheritance or something uh, as like the motive for doing the deed that sort of thing that might be fun gather everyone you ready detective mittens say the word and i'll drag all these fuckers into the room where the murder was committed then you can show us the murder weapon and confront the killer ready um yes uh, the other thing is that uh, S Sleuth does that Struth does not. Sleuth makes you figure out what room the murder was committed in as well. And I always found that really, really hard. And in the end, uh, again, time constraints, I was just like, yeah, screw it. Uh, just the name of the murderer and the thing what done it with. All right, let's go. So here we are. The doors are locked. Everyone has been dragged into the uh, dining room. The corpse is just still fresh there in the corner, rotting away. We're about to confront the killer. What can I say? I like bot. Mm. Fun little detail here. When I wrote the code, you hate that you changed your name? That's eh, fine. We, we still know who you are. Um, when I wrote the code to bring all of the NPCs into the murder room, it literally does that. It, it literally goes through, it's not dumb, relax, you'll get used to it. Or if you're not happy with it, I'm sure you get a chance to change it again later. Find something that suits you. Um... Every NPC in the game gets teleported into this room. You can see the cats come here. I've come here, although I'm technically not in the entities list. All of the suspects are here. The constable! The constable is still outside. And I don't know why. There's a weird bug in the game. And I cannot teleport that fucker no matter what I do. It's... it's so weird. Yeah. Like, maybe one in ten games, I've seen them actually teleport to the door like they're supposed to. But there's some weird bug. It's just... it's just one of those weirdnesses. Like, I... I'm using this old programming language. Uh, there's all sorts of weird constraints, and that's just not working, no matter what I do. I was typing up, how hard was it to code the constable to stay put? No. No, he's supposed to be here. Anyway, let's accuse. Uh, we will accuse Sun. And what was the murder weapon? The lamp. I love lamp. You display the murder weapon. The lamp. Sun sits there, seething. Suddenly, they lunge towards you, but are restrained by the constable. Damn you! Damn you all! Yes, I did it. 
Well done, detective. I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you. With that, they slump, defeated, and allow you to escort them to the station. Well done. You win. Your score was, uh, seven. Oh man, that really is the long arm of the law. Mm. <laughs> yeah, reaching around corners. Mansion killer found guilty in court thanks to famous detective's insight. Uh, local cat's dinner late, claims cat. So that's my little game. There's a lot more I wanted to put into it. Here's the quit screen as well. I mount modeled it off of the uh, quit screen from Commander Keen. There's a lot more I wanted to put into it, but I'm pretty happy that I got it done with like 15 minutes to spare for the DOS game jam. And it works. And it is completable. There are win conditions and lose conditions. It's nice. Like, it's a good happy brain chemicals thing. How long did it take? About two months. <laughs> uh, you know, on and off. Uh, especially those like two weeks there of hiding from COVID. Um, but yeah, about two months on and off, uh, it became like more of a, a focused project when the DOS game jam started up and I was like, Ooh, I could release this for the jam and, and have it alongside a bunch of other people's cool things. Work hours. I don't know, son. Don't ask me for story points or t-shirt sizes. I'm not doing that, that. No. <laughs> Hate it. Post-traumatic stress. Um, there's nothing stopping you from putting more into it? Yeah, I mean, I will come back to it at some point, but I've had it up to here with weird compiler errors from bc.exe and trying to fit into the 64k memory constraints of program code allowed for various bits. So I'm doing more modern tooling for a bit. I'm going to do modern React web dev for a bit and have fun with that. There is the cat. By the way, before you end, I have a huge question for all of you. Uh, please go ahead, son. Have a look at the cat. If I was going to have a go at picking up a programming language for no specific purpose, what would you suggest? Hmm. That is a tricky one. It depends kind of what you want to do with it, which of course you're saying it's for no particular purpose. Um, like if you just want to derp around and have some fun, Damn, that's a tricky question, because, like, there's, there's things like JavaScript, right? And JavaScript is everywhere, and you can do stuff on the web with it, and you can maybe want to script up some web pages so you can hack in a little button that says hello to everyone in Twitch. Um, but then JavaScript is a rabbit hole of tooling. Like, the sort of modern JavaScript is nuts with... Oh, you can use NPM. Oh, but no one uses NPM. Use Yarn. And like, oh, use React. And like, oh, you've got to use Node and various frameworks of the week. So it's not as beginner friendly as it could be. I mean, I think I'd, I'd find a game that you enjoy and see if you've got like the ability to script stuff in it. Uh, I had a lot of fun adding Lua scripting to World of Warcraft and borging up my user interface that way. Um, and the games, a lot of games use Python for modding and I could also see that. 
I can't personally recommend Python. It, it has kind of a weird learning curve and it's very particular about some things. I, I don't know. He actually used to script stuff for Morrowind. Yeah, I loved the Morrowind uh, script editor. It was janky as fuck, but you could do some really cool things with it. Um, I wonder if OpenMW has modern scripting languages available, or if it's emulating the janky Morrowind script editor, like, feature for feature. It was so bad, yeah. I remember once I discovered, after writing an enormous if-else-if-else-if-else-if-else-if-else chain for, like, every clothing item in the game to see what uh, my companion NPC would like to wear, there's actually, like, a hard limit of how far, like, how big of an if-else-if chain you can do. And it would just automatically run the final statements because it's like, oh, you've exited your if block now. Uh, it was probably like, you know, the how far you can jump in the byte code or something silly like that. I think OpenMW uses Papyrus or whatever it's called. Not familiar with that, except for the, the font. Actually, no, it uses the old scripting language, but with the extensions from MWSE. Cool, cool. That's nice. Yeah, um, I don't know. I reckon it's a question for the Discord, see if anyone else has any other suggestions. It would be good if you had, like, some specific thing in mind that you wanted to accomplish. Um... And yeah, there's some cool, like, programming games as well. I remember uh, there's a Windows 3.1 game called Combat Zone that I had a lot of fun with, uh, of the shareware version back in the day. Uh, where you program little tanks with their own crazy version of BASIC and uh, you can put the tanks against each other in a little arena and the best programmed tank wins, basically. Uh, there's a couple of other games like that are more modern that are on that theme. Papyrus is the modern version of what Morrowin used. Uh, I mean, I do kind of have a idea for a website, but honestly I feel it would be way less work to use a WYSIWYG. Yeah, I mean, doing your own website, you can get it. You can get pretty far with just basic JavaScript and HTML these days. You don't have to use all the bloody React or Vue or Angular or Next.js or all of those weird JavaScript frameworks. You can just write HTML and CSS and JavaScript these days. You might want to try it. Um, just like just learning the basics, none of the fancy shit. Or you might want to just use Squarespace, not sponsored, and uh, save your programming learning for something like C Sharp and make your own little desktop app. I don't know. It's a big, complicated question, and Neko has no brain. Next question. Are the Four Dummies books worth getting? I don't know. I remember I did have one Four Dummies book. It was a C++ for dummies. Um, I don't think I learned too much from it. I think some of the other books were were better quality that I learned from. Your mileage might vary. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to raid and run now. I'm going to dump you all on a friend of mine, uh, Case Omni. She's currently playing Joe Blow's The Witness, uh, which is a puzzle game. And uh, she's very nice, very chill. Uh, you can go hang out there, and I can go get a drink or something, I don't know. Feed my brain something to make brain more gooder. Yay. Uh, so yes, thank you everyone for being here. Take care. Uh, here is raid message. Hydrate, thank you. I got prepared this time, I filled up my water bottle. Sorry for murdering your viewer. Oh, it's fine. <clears throat> it's fine. Just uh, go easy on that delivery guy. Uh, Steph Matician, hello and see you later. Take care. Bye. Uh, 
I should type the things to make the things happen. I'm joking, don't copy that. <laughs> uh, K would be fine with it, I'm sure. But uh, have I spelled this correctly? Because she rebranded recently, so she might like the, the raid. There we go. Um, slash raid, exclamation mark raid, say bye to people. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it, right? I, I push the button now, and, and we all go say hi. Oh, copy your own damn raid message, Neko. That's right. I know there's something I forget to do each time. All right, bye. Take care.